Hold up. My name is Leonie, welcome back to my channel. For the months of August, September and October, I am a fairy loot represent rep represent bleh. <laughs> I am a fairy loot representative, which means they send me one of their bookish subscription boxes and I make a video about it for you guys. <laughs> this is the September box and just like last month, I'm gonna open it and we're gonna try out and test all of the items, see if they're good or not. All right, let's open the box. Here is the theme card for Under the Sea. This is the first thing that I see is, ooh, a comb with a cutesy little sea print. No, we're not testing yet. The testing's gonna come later. <laughs> the thing with brushes is that you technically only need one, so I just want to see if this one's better or not better than my current brush. Then I have a rather heavy box. It says to kill a kingdom. Ooh. It's a beautiful mug. Oh! And then at the bottom, there's a quote. It says, It's like holding a story rather than a person. She feels wild and infinite in my arms. I haven't read it yet, but I'm gonna read it soon. And if I end up really loving this book, then obviously I'm gonna be super happy with this mug. Up in here, we have a postcard of Atlantis. And of course, just like last time, there is. Well, I'm struggling. Like last time, there are these tarot cards. These are also from Nevernight, just like the tarot cards from last month. So I haven't read Nevernight, but I do really like the artwork that's on everything that has to do with Nevernight. <laughs> Here I see a... ooh, that's big. A big pencil case. It reads, don't grant all the princes requests, darling girl. Men are always asking for more than they should. From the novel Sea Witch, which I haven't read. Then I have a small little packet in here. I really appreciate how Fairy Loot doesn't use plastic, or at least as little plastic as possible in her boxes. It's a little keychain. Poor unfortunate souls. A quote from Ursula from The Little Mermaid. And then last but not least, the... Oh, no, there's something else. <laughs> I have absolutely... What the heck could this be? Is this a pencil? Oh, they're straws. Oh, oh my gosh. That's pretty cool, actually. This actually is making me really happy because I don't yet own a reusable straw. This one says, beach please. And the other one says, make waves. I'm a pirate on the sea. Ooh, there's a sirens. <laughs> Now we do get to the book. And this month's Fairy Loot book is... Oh, <laughs> I was like, is that a cover? No. Oh, this is also not the cover. This is the cover, Fable by Adrian Young. Whoa, this is a completely different cover, isn't it? Because this is a book that I thought it would be, but this is the cover that I found online. So they redesigned a completely new cover with blue sprayed edges. <gasps> I love this cover. Wow. Signed as always for Fairy Loose. Beautiful, beautiful, so pretty. I just noticed that me wearing blue is very on brand with all the items in this box. So Fable by Adrian Young is about a girl named Fable who is stuck on this island in the middle of the ocean that's very dangerous and she's trying to get off the island to find her father and join his pirate crew. So this sounds like it's gonna be a great survival slash pirate book. And you guys know how I feel about pirates. I love them. <laughs> I'm gonna read this in October and then at the end of the month you will see my review for it in my October wrap up. And there's also some really pretty artwork in here with a note from the author. Thank you Fairy Loot for sending me this box, I am very grateful for that. Okay, that was everything that was inside this box, let's move on to the review phase. <laughs> okay, hello, it's the next day, it's time for item review. I'm gonna use this as an excuse to make a cup of tea. And then while it cools, I'm going to try the other items.
Next up, please don't notice. Please don't look at the mess. <laughs> we have this pencil case, which uh, is huge. Like seriously, I'm just this is the pencil case that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is the Fairy Lou pencil case. You can store a lot of pencils in there. <laughs> I actually think this would be a very practical bag for makeup or toiletries when you go on holiday because it's big enough for that. <laughs> also, I know this is gonna sound like a very unimportant thing, but seriously, I've used a lot of pencil cases and toiletry cases in my life, um, and I've never had one that has this super beautiful, velvety, soft inside. Like, it feels so nice. I can't explain how soft this is. It looks like a black hole to you guys, but to me, this is heavenly softness. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I would use this for because I am personally not really a fan of the artwork design on this one, but that's just a personal preference thing. Okay, here we have two very simple items that I can be brief about. This keychain. The only thing with keychains, of course, is that once you have one, you don't really need another one. Um, but I, for one, don't yet have a keychain on my um, bicycle key. And I do need one because I keep losing my bicycle key. Yay! <laughs> and I really like the art on this cute Atlantis card. It's a postcard. I don't know if anyone still sends postcards. What I do with postcards is I hang them on my wall as a kind of gallery wall. I don't think I'm gonna hang this one there simply because it doesn't really fit the color scheme that I have going on there. But I do really appreciate that with the spoiler card and the character art, it all goes together really well color-wise so you can make a little gallery wall for yourself. Um, little confession, I actually never brush my hair. <laughs> it's because I have kind of wavy hair and if I brush it, it becomes straight and I like it a little bit wavy. But anything for the video. <laughs> I just want to know which one is better. My old brush that I've been using for years and years or this really cute one from Fairly. <laughs> you can tell that I don't brush my hair. <laughs> See the difference? This is brushed hair and this is non-brushed hair. <laughs> oh, this one actually feels a lot nicer. I don't really know what I expected. They both brushed my hair correctly. <laughs> it's a nice brush. Straw time. I'm gonna try the small one because I think the thick boy is more for milkshakes and stuff and I don't have that. I wish I had something interesting to mix like a cocktail, but I don't so I think I'm just gonna make some lemonade. Oh no, oh man. <laughs> I see to this tea for way too long. I never drink with straws. <laughs> I don't know why this scares me. It's I just never drink with straws, so I'm just excited for this new experience. <laughs> ah, that's pretty fun, actually. <laughs> now I have to clean this straw, but the good thing is they also included a straw cleaner, so that makes it easy. And now for a cup of tea. Ooh, I'm getting so hydrated in this video. Okay, another weird thing. I've never had a mug with this little with this little edge on there. I always just have these like straight mugs. So is this like a thing people are like divided over? Because I do often see these mugs with this little edge. So is this like a thing? Like do people have a preference? I'm gonna find out today what's mine. Oh, that's actually, hmm, okay, cool. I do think I prefer straight rent mugs. Let me know what your preference is. <laughs> nom nom nom, nice cup of tea. I do really like the the art on this. I don't care if I end up not liking To Kill a Kingdom. I really like this mug. Here's the spoiler card for if you want to know who the artists are for everything. Alrighty, my friends, and that was my fairy loot unboxing and testing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And tune in next month for my last fairy loot unboxing for the October theme, Wicked Hearts. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in another one. Goodbye.